Welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser and we're back with The Room. Where did we actually get to? Oh no, I remember where we got to, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem when you uh, have a gap between recording sessions, you completely lose track of what you're doing. Now, one thing I did re uh, register... Oh. Okay, apparently it didn't uh, save me putting this piece in place. Okay, so I put this piece in place, it opened up this door down here and there was nothing there, which I was confused and disappointed about. However, when I was doing the playback, I realised what these two buttons were for. So I pressed one of these buttons and it opened up one of the ports over here. But actually, if I press the other one, it'll open something up over here. I've also got a theory, with these white lights being on, coming from uh, this laser button here, that actually, if I, I think I might be able to remove this uh, component here, put it in the other way round, and at which point it'll follow the lights down here, and then open up a puzzle on this side. That's a bit of a speculation, but it wouldn't be an unreasonable leap of logic. So first, let's... Oh, I don't like I've got to zoom in to press a button, and then zoom out and find the... There it is. Oh, it's already done it. Uh, Got it. Okay. Now we're looking. Now we're looking. There it is. Oh, and that gets us another one of these multi key things. Right, so a multi key thing goes here. Right, so what have we got? Sort of U shape up there. Not quite a U-ship over there, and then a pretty bit over there, right. Oh, it's showing us. How convenient. So that's... Right, let's just get all the pieces out and see what I'm working with first. So two of these are going to need to line up. Right, so that's fairly easy. That goes there. That must go on top of it. They're the only two pieces that point in that direction. Oh, and that points in the direction. What am I doing? What am I on about? Yes, that goes like that. That goes. Does that go like that? I don't know. Oh Jesus! One bit over there. Okay. You bit there. You bit there. Here we go. I can actually get the light up better now. There we are. Uh, so not that one. That one. There we are. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. These two pieces must presumably stay. Down here. Neato. In the thing. It doesn't fit like this. Do I need to line up every single piece? It can't be right. Yeah, every single piece isn't going to fit if I do that. Um, okay, maybe this piece goes there and that piece goes up here. I'll line them up. No, that's not right. Let's try that, see if that works anymore. Get in the thing. Maybe it doesn't fit like this. It's there, right, go in there. Right, I can't, I can't see any other way of making that fit, so fit in. There you go. Jesus wept. Another small reflecting. Okay, so maybe I can't take that piece out. I just have to attach another bit onto it. Do the thing. There we go. Okay, so I had the right idea, I just uh, hadn't got the pieces to make it work yet. Alright. Well, these aren't doing much. Magic Eye of Magic? Ah, Magic Eye of Magic. That goes like that. That goes... Like that. Oh, hang on. Okay. Ah, right, so there's two mirrors on each bit. And that, ah, that looks... 
I can't control where that comes from, can I? No. So that's coming out. So that's just a matter of figuring out the. Uh, Go up there, I can deflect it over there. Oh, hang on, there's one over here, of course. Right. Um. Right, I'm aiming for this bit here, aren't I? Presumably. So. Go down there. That up there. There you go. That took me longer than it should have done, I will be the first to admit. Right, light, 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 light. Oh, puzzle piece. Oh, oh, hello! It's a lobster. I, I don't know my uh, constellations, unfortunately. This is very pretty, though. Anyway, let's get all the puzzle pieces in here. Nice, pointy bit, pointy bit, pointy bit, and the pointy bit. Bam! Again, no. Uh... This one was kind enough to give me a thing. So I've only got the square bit left to do. Okay. However, something's happening up here now. So can I use this yet? There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was what I was missing last time. Right, so diagonal across and then. Those two bits there. Okay. Uh, get out. Bam, 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 bam. There's the last piece. Ooh! And another bit of voice actoring. August 9th. The circle were right all along. How can I have been so blind? I have discovered a passage in their scriptus noctae. An incantation lacking the energy source to drive it. Well, I have such a source. This night, I summon Astaroth, whom the Babylonians called Ishtar, Prince of Accusers and Inquisitors, and he who can discover all secrets. Once correctly bound, all knowledge of the null element can be mine. I can barely contain myself. There's so much to prepare. That, uh, the voice acting took weird, weird directions there. I apologise for nothing. Okay. Oh. Hello. Um. Okay. Is this a box or a bloody TARDIS? Because there's a lot of room in these things for stuff. Oh. Pleasing progress. Do you think you've proven yourself yet? Okay. I've turned a box into a table now, I guess. Right. Okay. Well, I, I, I guess we'll start directly in front of us. That gives us a small socket. Right. Okay, what about this bit? Okay, I can't zoom in there. Move on to the next bit. What do you do? Okay. So, presumably this is a case of... Get the pieces in line. They're not in line. Um... Oh! <laughs> they are in line! <laughs> okay, can I put that there? No. Can I put it here? Yes! Do, do, do. There? Is that, is that right? Do I have to keep... Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it was right. I hadn't quite turned it in half, I see. Um, okay. It's taking me over to this thing. Right. That's a sword. That's a sword. That's a shopping trolley. That's the star. I don't. What did that do? What did that do? Magic eye of magic. Reveal the secrets. Ooh! It's a sword in the stone. 
but I need to get the angle right again. But this is going to be awkward because I need to be over here. Can I move the stone or the wall? Because in order to get some of these pieces in line, I ain't going to be able to see them. Okay, maybe I can do something about that later. Who knows? Oh, here's a thing. What does that say? A small slit in the exact center of the table. Okay. Magic eye of magic. Reveal that. Ooh. You have revealed thy secrets. But nothing I can do here with that. Just yet. Any more secrets to be revealed? No, it's just this thing. But I don't see how I'm going to be able to get the line up. Hmm. Can I not rot rotate the table or something? Do you keep doing something? No, that's all done. Oh, here's a thing. Magic eye of magic. No. All oh, right, so that needs something as well. We've done that. You aren't helping at the moment. Ah, a button. A, bu a button? A button. Okay, button did not help. I can't zoom in on the, uh, the light source things over here. In fact, I can't do a huge amount. The only thing I seem to be able to do... I mean, I didn't zoom in on this enough. Okay, yeah. I... Maybe. Maybe. No. Oh, I can turn this now. Which it wouldn't let me do before. For some stupid reason. Because I wasn't zoomed in enough, was I? Oh, of course, I'm a moron. Yay! I can reenact the final scene of Romeo and Juliet. Except without the whole Juliet bit. I'm saying I can stab myself. That was the joke I was making. Right, well, we have a sword, we have a table. Sword, stab table. Bam. Right, now we've got the entire solar system to play with. Oh, there we go. Now we've got buttons. We have lots of buttons. No. Oh. We've heard to have displeased those buttons. Or I'm going to do this. Let me press some buttons. That one. Oh. Oh, I see. It's a reset button. I can reset them all. Okay. Right, so they all have a sort of on or off sequence. Press this button just turns all of them red. Right. Now, oh, and a dribble of water in the background, because why wouldn't there be quite all day? Of why would it need to be <laughs> quiet in the end? Great. Can I zoom in on any of this stuff? Zip, zoom in? No? No. Magic Eye of Magic, reveal the secrets. There we go. <laughs> As it happens, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, okay, so sort of a zigzag from top left to bottom right. Go, go away. Doop, 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 bam. Yeah, that presumably is better. Nice, everything's spinning. Oh, let's just turn to this thing again so we can press the button. So, sword goes bye bye. Eye? Is that the next one? Yes, we have an eye now. Right. Well, magic of my of magic is the usual place to go with this. Oh, it's given us more. Okay, so make a sort of a. Uh... Right. So that's rotating of its own volition. I 
I think I'm going to line up with this. Maybe I want her to do that and that'll make, allow me to control them? That's right. Bam, bam. Um, bam, bam. Crap, was it? That? I don't think that's right. Oh, I was right. I couldn't remember if it was across there or across the bottom one. Okay, that stopped them all. So now when I go into this, we can get up our magical lineup of magics. There. Neat. So that gives me an eye. Hooray. Any any more secrets? No. No more secrets. Where did the eye go? Ah, the eye went over here. Eye in the thing. Right. And the planetarium goes in. Now what? Do I take this back? Oh, I can turn it. Whee! Whee! Why am I doing this? This is why I'm doing this, presumably, but... What do those arrows mean? Oh! Oh! Stuff and things is what that arrow means. Right. Yeah. Zoom in. Let's go magic back on. Turn this. Let's have a look at the uh, where it was the first place. So that's two. Two? Is that what it's saying? I don't know. One block there, one block there. Turn around again. I think I've probably done this one already, but we'll just keep going clockwise till we get one. So there's one there, one there. Now there's one at the top. Just keep it going. Keep, keep it going. Line those arrows up. Now there's two at the bottom. So if I had one there, two there, two at the bottom. Hang on a minute. I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I zoom. Oh, I'm not zoomed in. <laughs> That's why I can't zoom out. Right, so I think what it's saying is that, that, um, what was the I'm currently on? These two, and if you look, you can see the next arrow already. So I don't need to that. Yeah, what does that do? Oh, oh, is that the contraption of um, magical magicalness that he said contained the null element? Is that the null element now? Oh, this, the energy source harnessing the null element. Oh, so I have. I've got the magical device of magicalness. And now something's going to happen that I can presumably just ram that up in. Um, well, this is turned back to the multicolored sheen of something. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing I have to turn this thing again, but. Can I just turn these? Oh! Oh! I think I'm inside it now. Um, why don't I take this off? Yes, I, I'll. Oh, God, I'm at Stonehenge. When did that happen? Oh, I can just straight up turn these now. Right. Turn, turn, turn. So I need to find the. Uh, there we are. So that's the base that doesn't move. Bam. Bam. Puzzle solving. Right, now I have another table. Oh, and it's swallowed it. Hey, I opened the door to Stonehenge, who knew? And 
and we've been swallowed. Okay, come on. I've opened a safe, I've opened a box, I've solved the table twice, and now I'm gonna I've opened the door to Stonehenge. How much more do I need to do to prove myself? Um, okay, we think, I think we've angered the null element. Another bloody box. How many more boxes do you want? Where on earth am I? Who says we're on earth? Last I saw, we entered Stonehenge. I think we're the null dimension. What does this say? A queer sense of movement. Not quite turning, not quite falling. I felt myself cross the threshold, and my visions abated. Perhaps they only serve to drive me to this place? The route back closes behind me, but the way forward opens ahead. Something is drawing me on. In case you are with me, I will try to guide you along the path. I pray you never come. I pray you are just another of my dreams. Hey, what's this thing? There's a piano key, I think. So, that one and that one. Okay, guess I'll have to deal with that later. You've been doodling there, who, whatever connection you have to me, person. Okay, can I draw on it or something? No, it's just there for decorative purposes. Oh god, even the table's part of the puzzle. What does that say? Scribble, 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 scribble. Right. Okay. Um. Is there a piano? No piano laying anywhere yet. Okay. Right. Magical eye of magicalness. Hey, handprints. And there. Did he just turn that with like the palm of his hand? Didn't use his fingers or anything? Just slap his hand on the table. <coughs> turned. I don't, there isn't really a turning sound effect I can emulate, but right, cool. What? Oh, switch. And a, a cog. A small gear. Fine, whatever you want to call it. What do I do with that? Then what do I ram it? Oh, a switch. This is probably the answer. Yeah, have that. No. Looks like there's a gear missing. Here's a gear. Dude. Oh. I see. Triangular gear of a triangular piece. Got it. Okay. So did he build this table or? What am I doing with this? Oh, I see. Wait, what? I want me to do it all over again. Oh, you bugger. Right. I don't know. There you go. Done. Well, did I really have to do that twice? Was that that important? Okay, another circle's open. Is it that bounty ball? Something strange about it. I don't think it bounces. Okay. Got a button. Oh! Oh, Jesus, wet. What the hell is all this bollocks then? Right. Um. Oh! <laughs> all of that, just so I could throw a small gear at me again. This is an entirely necessary contraption. AS, whoever the hell you are. Is it my uncle? Is that who he was? I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Are you missing a piece or something? Right, so I think I'm going to put something in that later. Anywho. Where'd that cog go? There it is. Wheel. 
a thing button go we have a draw what's in the draw smaller draw oh no it's not it's the handle <laughs> i see all right so strangely shaped key and some tarot cards saying death that he's torn in half presumably out of frustration about repeatedly getting the same bloody card over and over again right strange key Right, can't press any buttons or anything on you, you are just a key. Alrighty. Oh, there's where key goes. Key, hole, spin. Oh, no, I didn't even have to spin that one. This one's got an auto crank in it. Oh, is it a music box? Um, okay, I can't see the music. Hey! What the? Right. That was unnecessary. That also has changed the music now. The... That doesn't help either. Hmm. So I'm just listening to the actual music, there doesn't seem to be any logic to it per se. Okay. Why does changing the music help? How? Um, I don't want your hints, game. What's all this gibberish then? do anything with this yet. Nope, okay. Oh, that doesn't seem to mean anything, or do anything. Magic Eye of Magic doesn't help with it. Okay, do I need to turn it, the switch again or something ridiculous? Do it again then. So I'll put that back up there. What purpose does this serve? Why am I doing this? I'm not getting any pieces of the puzzle in doing this, am I? Have I missed a piece of the puzzle? Anything to this? No pressing everything there madly doesn't help either. Is the only thing I've got to work with currently. Oh! There was a thing. But it's very particular about where this key lives. I wonder. I turn that back. This changes. Even back in on here. Can I put this in different places now? Oh no, I only get those three locations to work with. I can't snatch it. Okay, I'm... does this turn into different amounts or something? I what I'm supposed to be doing here. So I see there's a, a compartment in this with something in it. Do I need to keep this magic eye on as I'm turning? Is there any... No, it keeps moving me from one place to the other. There goes the water again. Let's see me over here. No, I'm not getting this. Oh, where it was... No, nothing there again. Right, okay. Um, given the hot water's going nuts again. What the... When did this change? When? When is this a thing? Why is it not directing me to this when stuff's happening? What? 
What just happened? So now if I turn this back to here, I was going to call that episode, but stuff's happening now. Oh, I think I get it. Right, okay. So, this isn't turning a small thing in here, it's turning the whole machine around inside it. So when I turn to here, so actually what it's doing is turning that gap over to this bit. Right, that was not obvious to me in the slightest. It's the only time to bring me over here when the switch was pressed to show that changing direction, but I couldn't I didn't realise that all of that stuff was connected. Okay, so now I've got a key and a handle. However, we've been doing this for half an hour. The water's going mad in the background, so I'm going to call it an episode there. And we'll figure out what to do with those two items in the next and possibly last episode of this game. I know there are sequels to it, so I don't think this is going to be one of those games where I'm going to get a definitive answer as to what's happening at the end of it. So, um, But no, I'm enjoying this, so if it is a reasonable ending, uh, I will consider looking into the room two. And the room three, which might be a thing. Um, from what I know of these games, I think it started out as a, an iPad game, hence the reason it's all exclusively mouse control. Um, either iPad or general tablet uh, or mobile gaming. Um, and then was ported onto computers. Um, it's fun though. So, yes, that's that's the plan. That water, I say I have to live with this water going off in my room all the time. So in case I haven't explained, you know, in case you haven't seen an episode where I've explained what's going on with background uh, noises, the my computer lives in my my room. Unfortunately, my room also contains the hot water system. So whenever anyone in the the house uses any hot water, it all gets pulled out of my uh, out of my cupboard, which is all of two, maybe two and a half meters away from my computer. So all of that sound is just sort of sitting in the background, and I'll go for periods, hours of having absolutely nothing and I think great okay no one's doing anything I'll do some recording every single bloody time I go do some recording somebody somewhere decides they're gonna have a shower it's like half two in the afternoon and they're having showers now great thanks okay I'm done bye so I've literally just finished putting all the uh, the edit together what you're looking at now is the program that I actually work with a little program called Lightworks I'm enjoying it when it works getting kind of annoyed at it when it doesn't. That's not the point. What I want you to look at is right at the bottom, the little section that's labeled A3, A4. So, in case you're not familiar with how these programs work, if you're looking at the left-hand side, FX1, FX2 are effects, obviously I've added to the, uh, the video. V1, A1 and A2, that's the data I have recorded from the computer, the, the gameplay, as it were. And then A3 and A4, is the audio of my commentary that I've added over the top. Every single one of those little black lines you can see along A3, A4 is an area I've cut audio out of because, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, my mouse slid off my mouse mat. I didn't think to put it back on through the rest of the recording, so any time I moved the mouse, I had a great big clanging sound. Um, as I'm sure you've noticed, because a lot of the clanging sounds were happening while I was talking, and I couldn't get rid of those ones, because I'd be cutting out audio that was of me talking, and that kind of defeats the point. <laughs> the whole point of commentary is you hear me talking. But yeah, every single one of those little black lines is a clang I've got rid of. So if you've heard a lot of them, and thought, wow, that's annoying, imagine how it feels for me having to get rid of all of those. It's not just a case of clicking the area and saying, right, that bit's gone, I had to listen to it two or three times, just a little section, trying to find out exactly where the bloody noise was to get rid of it. On the plus side, you may have noticed there's no echo to my voice anymore. I figured out what that was. My microphone's got an echo volume control thing for some reason. And somehow that got twisted onto not zero? I don't even know why it's there, to be perfectly honest. But yes. Also, I'm recording and there's no one trying to take a shower at the same time. So, yay! All the audio problems solved for the last two minutes and a half of audio of me jabbering over a still image. Bye!